In this episode, we are going to talk about cofactor matrix. So, given a 3 by 3 matrix, how do we find the cofactor matrix? So, we have matrix A giving us A11, A12, A13, and the second row A21, A22, and A23. The third row A31, A32, and A33. So, this is a 3 by 3 matrix. How do we obtain the cofactor matrix from matrix A? It's quite simple. So, in order for us to find the cofactor matrix from A, this is what we are going to do. Because it is very important to know how to find the cofactor matrix because we are going to use the idea to find the inverse of this 3 by 3 matrix. So straight away, if you want to get the cofactor matrix from matrix A, this is what we are going to do. First, you compare this matrix to that we have a positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, a positive, negative, and a positive. So we are going to use this idea to find the cofactor matrix. Always we start from the positive. So this is what we are going to do. We are going to get a large matrix. So at the first row, first column, after we close this A11, what are the two by two matrix left? This means this whole row, row one is canceled. This column one is canceled. So we have this as the two by two matrix. So we are going to write that after we cancel this we are going to get this sub matrix from that it's like we are finding the determinant of the matrix but here we are not going to add this particular element are we okay so after choosing the a11 this row is gone this column is gone so we have a22 and a23 we also have a32 and A33 for the first one. When we come to the second part, if we close this, then the first row is gone, the second column is also gone. We are going to be left with a matrix of the form. So we are going to have A21 and A23. We are also going to have A31 and A33. Just after closing this, when you come to this part, this row will be gone. This will be gone. We are left with this small matrix. That is going to be A21, A22. We have A31, A32. Are we okay for that? But let's remember the sign. This is positive. This is negative. This is positive. Now we are we will do this for all the elements. So now we come to this element the same way. We are going to get this two matrix, but it is negative here. So that will be a negative, and we are going to have a one two, a one three, a three two, a three three. Now we come to the second part, which is positive. We are going to get this matrix. A11, A13, A31, A32. This part, we are going to get this sub matrix as A11, A12. We are also going to get A31, A32 for that. Now to the third row, third element on the first column. We are also going to get a12, a13, and a22, a23. Here we are going to get, so this is negative, this is positive, and this is negative. This is positive, this is negative, and we are getting a31, a1. So here we are going to get a11. After choosing this, this row will go, 
this will go so that will be a11 a11 then we also have a13 a21 a23 now we go to the positive side the last one and we are going to get a11 a12 a21 and a23 for that so this is what we are going to compress to get our cofactor matrix now that we have the element this way we are going to find the determinant for each two by two matrix and whatever we get from the determinant will be the element at the particular point so whatever we get here will be a particular let's say x1 so this will be x2 this will be x3 x4 x5 x6 for the determinant of the two by two that will be x7 x8 and x9 so later we are going to get something like a matrix which is the cofactor matrix in this form after so certain x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 x6 x7 x8 and x9 so whatever we get here will now be the cofactor matrix are we okay so this is the cofactor matrix are we okay it's a three by three matrix by going through this approach are you okay please don't forget the negative the positive you have to obey the sign notation let's take an example so example find the cofactor matrix given that matrix a so let's have our matrix a in this form seven negative six three four negative five negative four we have two one and eight are we okay so this is our matrix now let's find the cofactor matrix how do we go by this first our cofactor matrix A is going to be. So now, for the first element, when you choose it, you close the first row, the first column. Then you write the other sub matrix. So at the first position, we are going to get, after closing this and that, negative 5, negative 4, 1, and 8. So this is the approach you are going to so i will be running through it so fast so that will be negative five negative four one and eight so at the second point when we choose the negative six we close the first row the second column and we are going to get four negative four two eight like that but first let's compare it to our sign notation plus negative plus negative plus negative positive negative positive meaning this is positive this is going to be negative and the second one this is negative we are going to have a positive here after choosing the three the first row is gone the third column is gone so we are going to have four negative five two and one now at this point we are going to have a negative here and we are going to have negative six three one and eight this is going to be positive seven three two and eight this is negative and we are going to have seven negative six two one at this point we are going to take the two the first column is gone the last row so we are going to have this negative six three negative five negative four so negative six three and we are going to have negative five negative four this point we are going to have a negative here and that will be 
seven three four negative four and a positive seven negative six four negative five this way so we are done with the matrix this way we have to find the determinant for each two by two matrix that we have are you okay so a is going to be of this form now the determinant of this matrix is going to be now we know how to find the principal diagonal minus the minor diagonal so that is going to be negative 5 by this negative 40 minus this is minus 4 for that now in the second part we have a negative already so that is going to be 8 4 32 minus this is going to be negative 8 now the third point that is going to be 4 1 plus 4 minus negative 10 the same way for the second part we have a negative attached and that is going to be negative 48 minus 3 for the determinant this is 56 minus 6 and this is negative 7 minus minus 12 you can go through it so easily this is 24 minus minus 15 and this is negative attached negative 28 minus 12 this is negative 35 minus minus 24 are we okay and when you finally solve this your cofactor matrix a is going to be negative 36 here this is going to be negative 40 and 14 we have 51 50 and this is going to be negative 19 and this place is going to be negative or this is going to be 39 are you okay this is going to be 39 we have 40 and this is going to be negative 11 so whatever we have here as a is our cofactor matrix it's very simple just know your approach and find the determinant of the matrix and you are going to reach the cofactor matrix thank you for watching this episode watch out for the next episode